All right, we all know it takes the right kind of mentality to excel in the sports arena. But have you ever considered how building a mind of a champion can actually help you improve in your own professional and personal life? Well, Dr. Julie Bell has thought of that. She's a sports psychologist and the author of this book you are looking at, entitled Performance Intelligence at Work. She is a North Texan, drove in from Dallas here today, and we appreciate you doing that. All right, talk to me about this book. You said you're getting called to talk at some different corporations right now. Explain how the principles of sports psychology apply to your personal life. Well, we perform every day. Sometimes it's in sports, other times it's in business or other areas of life. And the mental part of the game stays the same. Confidence is confidence, whether uh -huh. you're shooting a free throw or making a sales presentation or teaching Sunday school. It's the same principle. Wow, so if we act like Tony Romo all the time, then we might be better in our professional and personal life. If you <laughs> focus like Tony Romo. There you go. Yeah, there's probably a lot to be read into that. Talk to me about um, the principles of the mind, because that's something that's mentioned in the book. What are the principles of the mind? There's uh, three principles of the mind, the recognizing your thinking, so you have to know what thoughts set you up for success and what thoughts set you up for failure, uh, refocusing your thinking, and then creating routines or habits of your mind. The same thing you would do on the football field or in the Absolutely. sports arena. Um, also mentioned in the book is the five attributes of confidence, and I want to read those. Confidence, focus, self-discipline, competitiveness, and a winning gameplay. I mean, that, those are the aspects of performance intelligence. Uh -huh. And so let's take focus, for example. We all know how to focus. Sometimes we don't know where to focus. And so are you focusing on what to do or what not to do? Are you focused on playing to win and living out your vision or focusing on playing not to lose and really protective and defensive? Uh, we all need to have a winning game plan. Every mm -hmm. great coach I've worked with has a winning game plan going into the season. And then they tweak that winning game plan throughout the season so they can continue to pursue their win. Very interesting. Dr. Bellet, before we went into the, uh, on air, we talked about how you are now talking to some different corporations, some big ones in our area. You are also the founder of an organization. Explain that to me. So the Mind of a Champion is a coaching organization here in Dallas, and we work with companies all over the country training performance intelligence. So mm -hmm. people invest in their hard skills, whether it's a customer service program or even athletes training their skills. We come alongside them to train the mental part of the game, the performance intelligence, so that people can continue to perform at the top of their game. Okay. We've talked about the professional world. I know your parents. I just want to bring it back down to children mm -hmm. as well. Are these aspects of this book something we can apply to kids as well? Absolutely. And in the works right now is performance intelligence for moms because the same ah. principles apply to parenting. You know, when you go to bed at night, are you thinking about all the great things that happened with your children or the times that you weren't the best mom in the world? Okay. I didn't even know that. So we'll be watching for that one. That was a good transition, wasn't it? <laughs> Dr. Bell, we'll have you back when you get that book out as well. Once again, here is the book. It is entitled Performance Intelligence at work. Scott? I think I'll read that book.